This is basketball. And this is Rocket League. But how are they similar? Are they even similar? Yes, and it all has to do with training. You see, NBA players will practice the same shots over and over again. So the next time they're in a game, they have no problem scoring that shot because they've done it thousands of times. Players like James Harden have perfected specific shots and can score them in real games on autopilot. So if you want to be a consistent scorer, then you need to practice shots all the time and you need to practice a set of go-to moves. And that's what's gonna make you score open nets instead of missing them. And it's what's gonna allow you to be a better teammate, knowing you can score on any pass you get. And it's what's gonna motivate you to continue training and improving your game. So what does this mean for you? It means you need to get in the gym. You need to practice like an NBA player and train the same shots over and over again so they become second nature. That way, the next time you're presented with an opportunity to score, you can feel confident knowing that ball is going in because you've done it thousands of times. But it also means you need to take training seriously if you want to be one of the best and you need to train in a smart way. And that's by using training packs with the variations. So open up your game, go to training packs, type in this code right here, then hit play. All right, so this first shot is gonna practice power shots when your opponent gives you enough space to let the ball bounce. This lets you get a powerful shot that is very difficult to stop. But what if your opponent does not give you space? Then you need to be quicker since you don't have time to let the ball bounce. So in variation two, practice going for an air shot instead to make sure you beat your opponent to the ball and can score. And if you want to confuse your opponent even more, you can do this third variation where you do neither and instead go for a dribble. By practicing all three of these variations, the next time this situation comes up, you're much more likely to score since you now have a set of go-to moves that you've practiced. All right, so shot number two, you need to go up the wall and lightly tap the ball without jumping. Once the ball is a bit far out, jump off and use your second flip to clear the ball as far as possible. And this is a very effective way to clear the ball when it's on the wall and will get you much more comfortable with the wall play. Variation number two is when you see your teammate on the opposite side. So you gotta smack it over there and give them a nice little pass. And if you wanna be even fancier or your opponent just gives you a ton of space, you can practice this third variation where you tap the ball off the wall, jump down and catch it for a dribble. Now this one's pretty advanced. So if you can do it, then congratulations. You're somewhat good. Either way, make sure to practice each one of these variations at least 10 times to make sure you have them down. All right, so the next shot will practice those times that the ball shoots off to the side after a kickoff. And knowing how to predict these bounces can be a very easy way for you to beat your opponents and score or create a good opportunity to score. And if you can get good at this one, you're gonna get a ton of easy goals from this scenario. So practice this one a lot if you want easy goals. And the next shot is the same thing, just on the other side. All right, so the next scenario is when the ball rolls up the wall, you need to practice tapping it down and taking a power shot into the net. If you can get good at this, it's gonna help your power shots and accuracy in other scenarios as well as this one. You'd be surprised how easy it is to score if you can hit fast power shots. So variation number two is if your opponent is too close and doesn't give you space, then you should go for an air shot instead of waiting for the bounce. Variation number three is where you fake the first power shot and wait for the second bounce to hit your shot. You can use this to confuse your opponent if you've already done the other variations. And again, make sure to practice these on both sides. This next scenario is training your wall play again. Practice coming off the wall using a single jump to score the ball. Now this is pretty hard and you do need some car control, but if you do this often, you're gonna be much more comfortable coming off the wall in defensive or offensive situations. For variation number two, go up the wall and pause for a second before jumping off. 
This will practice when you're unsure if you have space and it's okay to pause for a second before committing to the shot. And lastly, if you're going for highlight clips, you can practice hitting it off the wall for a double touch. This next scenario can be used in pretty much every game. So when the ball is rolling in the same direction of your car, you can give it a small tap to the wall and go for a shot when it comes back to you. Kinda like passing it to yourself. Cause fuck your teammates, right? And this can all be done in one smooth motion once you get good at it. So get good at it. Now if your opponent is attacking and you're unsure who will hit the ball first, Use this second variation where you go for the tap to the wall, but immediately turn back. That way, if the ball goes to your side, you're already facing your net ready to defend. But if you beat them, you'll probably have an open net and can go for a goal. If this sounds confusing, here's an example. So in this clip, I go for the tap to the wall, but I get beat. But since I immediately turned back, I'm now able to easily block the shot and stop them from scoring. In this second clip, I go for the tap to the wall, but this time I'm able to beat them, and I'm actually left with an open net and an easy goal. Hopefully this scenario makes a little bit more sense now. And remember, if you want to be a consistent scorer just like Kobe, then you need to ask yourself, are you ready to take training seriously and improve your skill? Are you ready to have more fun playing Rocket League and score amazing goals? Are you ready to be a high rank player? If you are, then you need to practice. And now you know how to practice training packs with different variations to improve even faster. And if you want more training content, make sure to sign up to rocketchamp.com, which offers premium courses with lessons on how to improve the most important mechanics for ranking up. You can join over 5,000 students who have started ranking up by taking their free course on how to deal with bad teammates. In this course, you will learn the concepts of defensive patience and blaming yourself, and most importantly, how to use it and how to practice it. Seriously, go check it out because it will help you rank up like crazy. And it's free. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video at least a little bit. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Also, make sure to subscribe or I will personally delete your Steam account.